There have been some crucial discoveries lately relating constipation to gut flora. Dr. Mark Pimentel made an interesting discovery relating directly to the cause of constipation predominant IBS or IBS-C. He uses breath testing to help him diagnose his patients with IBS. He discovered a correlation between his IBS-C patients and high levels of methane gas in their breath tests. In fact, methane was high in patients with other constipation related conditions such as diverticulosis. The patients with diarrhea predominant IBS did not have this high level of methane gas in their breath. As it turns out, this methane is the byproduct of a single-celled organism called archaea. Archaea are another whole world of organisms in a domain all their own. They're not bacteria, fungus, or animals. They're a little known and rarely studied form of life that don't culture well, so they're missed by most stool tests. But one thing that gives them away is their byproduct, methane gas. Now, a couple of species of archaea are very common and account for about 10% of the microbiota in the gut. Dr. Mark Pimentel wondered, could these archaea get out of balance? But he took it a step further. He wondered, what causes this slowdown of peristalsis? Is it by chance the methane gas itself? So he did a study. He took five dogs and inserted a catheter in each one that could deliver methane gas straight into the digestive tract. He observed that the transit time in the dogs was slowed by 59%. He also tested this theory on guinea pigs and correlated many studies to arrive at this conclusion. The researchers conclude, therefore, methane, a gaseous byproduct of intestinal bacteria, slows small intestinal transit and appears to do so by augmenting small bowel contractile activity. So, a specific class of single-celled organisms in the gut is responsible for decreasing transit time and producing constipation. But don't jump to the conclusion that archaea is bad. It's not. Archaea play some very important roles in the ecosystem of the gut. Although archaea only represent about 10% of the microbiota in the gut, it's paramount in the digestion process. Archaea increases the efficiency of healthy bacterial fermentation and energy output by reducing excess hydrogen from the gut. In addition to hydrogen, it removes numerous other byproducts of bacterial fermentation. Archaea also contribute to reducing a person's calorie harvest, so it helps you stay slim and trim. So, the real goal is balance. If a person's archaea is too high, it should be brought back into balance. The best way to do that is to supplement with probiotic bacteria that counter the effects of archaea. Lactobacillus species would be my first choice, as studies have shown that lactic acid bacteria help with IBS and constipation. So, in conclusion, there's a logical set of steps to follow if constipation is your issue. First, make sure you're getting adequate fiber. And don't make the mistake of getting your fiber from grains like wheat bran. Fiber is high in fruits and vegetables. They should be your primary source of fiber. Second, make sure you're drinking adequate water for your body weight. Third, get adequate exercise. I covered all of these in detail in my previous videos on constipation. Fourth, if you've addressed all these consistently for a few weeks and constipation is still an issue, then consider supplementing with lactic acid producing probiotics. Many species of lactobacillus would be a good start. That's it. If you follow through on all four of these options consistently, you'll make major progress with your constipation. So good luck and don't give up.